This video has been developed to train customers and growers on CropCare's new Suscon product for long-term control of insect pests in bananas, Suscon Yellow Intel. It contains a short introduction to CropCare and the development of Suscon Yellow Intel for Australian banana farmers, overview of the product, product features and benefits, application equipment sourcing and setup, including calibration, Correct placement of Suscon Yellow for best performance. CropCare is a leading agricultural company supplying crop protection chemicals to banana farmers. CropCare has been working in partnership with the banana industry for more than 50 years to develop innovative products to control various pests and diseases to ensure growers can produce the best quality bananas possible. Hi. This is Nick Matthews from CropCare Australasia Research and Development. I'm in uh, Innisfail, North Queensland, and here to tell you about Suscon Yellow Intel. Suscon Yellow is a new product from CropCare. It's a controlled release uh, granular imidacloprid based product, and it's gonna be used in bananas for up to three years control of greyback cane grub, um, banana weevil borer, and for suppression of rust thrips. Um, CropCare has been involved with the research and development for this product for over five years and it's providing very good control of those key banana pests. Suscon Yellow is a granular product that's applied at the planting time. It gives you good early protection of your planting material and the controlled release component kicks in and gives you good control of those pests for up to three years. So the precision granule applicator is driven off the drive wheel on the banana planting machine. The mechanism uh, runs and delivers the product down these tubes into each row as a continual band. It's placed after the planting material, so as the machine moves over it, it's delivering the product in a continual band over the, the planting material to give it that protection. I'd like to introduce local banana farmer, Angelo Russo. Welcome. My pleasure, Nick. And um, you've set this machine up on the back of your planter, and how's it all gone? Yeah, quite well, actually. As you can see, we've mounted it here on this planter in between our fertiliser boxes. We have uh, the tubes running down into the, the furrow, delivering the chemical, and we've driven it by chain and sprockets off our main drive to get an accurate delivery of the chemical. And what was the target width of the granules at planting? We need to spread the chemical 150 to 200 millimetres wide in the row and put approximately 100 millimetres of soil over the top of it. And are you bringing the soil in at planting? Yes, as, as, as the chemical falls over the bit and the, tr and the planter is travelling, the mole boards at the back deliver that 100 mil of soil over the top of the chemical and the planting material. So we're here at uh, Freddie Couchy's farm and just to show you the setup of a different machine. This is a tissue culture planting machine. So Freddie, thanks for having us. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you, Nick. And uh, just like to start off with, um, I guess, a brief explanation of how this machine um, was set up. One person either side, they sit on the seats. The, the trays of tissue cultures are here. They, we fill them up all full of tissue culture and then the operators can grab a plant. Uh, there's, a, there's a chute down here and they just drop them into the chute and then we drive, as we drive our, our, our head, the, these coverers, they cover it in with dirt and we set up the Susquehan planter at the back and we've put the pipes and attached them down the boards, the male boards. And so as it, as it plants and drops the plants, it covers the Susquehan yellow in and the whole job's all done and finished. So is that a key um, benefit for you, the actual sort of one pass operation? Yes, yes it is. Yes, less, less labour, the job's done once and that's it. It's a big saving. Yep. Versus coming back with a liquid? Yeah, yeah, yep. 
So Freddie, what are the key pests for your business in bananas? Uh, cane grub, beetle borer and rust rip. Yep. And tell me, do you have any trouble with mite flare-ups? Yes, we do. Uh, every time we, we use a product for it, then later we, we tend to have a, a trouble with flare-up. And so do you see this uh, controlled release granule as being a big benefit for your business? Yes, yes, definitely. So just showing you now uh, a different way of applying Suscon Yellow Intel. Uh, the granules are applied in a separate pass to the planting operation. Um, it's still basically the same sort of equipment. It's a wheel driven uh, to a chain which drives the cogs in the microband applicator which then delivers the product down the tubes and into the furrow and again keeping the uh, the width of the band about 15 to 20 centimeters wide at application the difference with this is that it is done as a separate pass so they will plant the bits into the furrow water up um, push the bits into the soil so you've got a nice flat surface to, to treat the bands the band of uh, suscon yellow and then they will come and fill in uh, in a separate pass again. So a few more steps, but no less effective and uh, probably a little bit more beneficial in terms of health and safety, keeping the planting machine separated from the, um, from the treated machine. Um, so look, we've just gone over the three different methods. There's the uh, bit planting and applying your Suscon Yellow at plant there, or there's your tissue culture and applying the Suscon Yellow at plant in that pass. Or there's this type of uh, way of applying where you can plant your bits, come back in a separate pass and fill in as well at a later time. So look, um, the, the specifications are still the same. Keep the band width 15 to 20 centimetres wide and cover in with at least 10 centimetres of soil. Do not uh, disturb the soil afterwards by removing cover. You can certainly add more cover over and uh, that's obviously desirable up here in the wet tropics. So it's also important just to double check that your treated band is at least 15 to 20 centimetres wide and that your amount of soil cover is at least 10 centimetres over the top. So both of these are fine. So therefore the application has been a success. Now it's just sit back wait for the great results from Suscon Yellow Intel. So what I'm going to do now is take you through the calibration process for Suscon Yellow Intel. It's a two-stage process. Firstly, we do a static calibration and then secondly, we take it out into the paddock and we'll do a dynamic calibration. So what I'll do is I'll go and put my safety equipment on and we'll come back and get started. So with a static calibration, um, you just need to know the number of clicks per metre and then you can calculate the um, number of clicks that it takes to travel, say, 50 metres. And that gives you a good distance to capture the product while the machine's still stationary so that you can weigh it and then calculate your rate per metre of row. So what I'll do is I'll start the, the planting wheel and we just count the number of clicks up to um, the number that it would take us to do, say, 50 metres, which is um, equivalent to 47.6 clicks. So for the static calibration, you're going to need a good set of scales, um, a jug if you're on single row, or two jugs if you're on dual row. You'll need a calculator and a pen and paper to write the results down. So, I'll show you how it's done. After running the machine for the set number of clicks, the two jugs can be combined. You put one jug on to tear it, or you do this first. And then you pop the other jug on to get your total combined weight. So we take that weight and we write it down on our piece of paper and then we can work out our actual grams per metre of row. 
also the weight that we've got from our scales. We put on to our piece of paper and then we divide it by the distance that we would have worked out the machine to have travelled, in this case, 50 metres. So 1,796 grams divided by 50 equals 35.92. So for Angelo's planting setup of dual rows, that's 36 grams per metre of row is our target. We've got 35.92, we're very close. So successful static calibration, from here we move into the paddock. Okay, so for the dynamic calibration in the paddock, you need to have a couple of pegs, a tape measure, and we measure out the distance that we've worked out before in our static calibration to um, measure the amount of product that we are delivering in the actual paddock. So, peg in the ground, next to the tractor, and off we go. So with the dynamic calibration in the paddock, after you've run it and captured uh, the product that's come out over the distance, you need to then obviously take this back, weigh it, make sure that the weights are within spec, and then work out the rate per metre of row, and then obviously if things need to be adjusted, uh, do so as we've talked about before. So the big watch outs here with the machine in the paddock, um, it's likely that you'll run a little bit more product through the machine, so just be aware of that. So today we've uh, introduced you to the new um, controlled release Imilacroplid product from CropCare. It's called Suscon Yellow Intel, and we've taken you through the methods of calibration, both static and dynamic, as well as the placement. So I'd just like to say thanks very much, Angelo, for having us, and all the best with your Suscon Yellow applications. Thanks very much.